Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Serap urges Tinubu to investigate $1.5 billion World Bank loans to states. The Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, Serap, has urged President Bola Tinubu to direct the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Latif Fagbami SAN, and appropriate anti-corruption agencies to promptly and thoroughly investigate the spending of the $1.5 billion World Bank loan obtained by the 36 states and Abuja for poverty reduction and social protection across the states. Joining us to have a conversation on this is Samson Ajibade, is a criminologist and security researcher. Good morning, Samson. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. All right, so we're talking about $1.5 billion. That's a lot of money that the states, the 36 states and the federal capital territory has taken as loans. I want to just understand what was this loan for in the first place? Yeah, from what they put out there, that's mm -hmm. for poverty reduction and some other social uh, social projects. Yes. But if, after the 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 loans have been taken, now life is still much more difficult for Nigerians. Mm -hmm. Then have they reduced the poverty in the in the in the real sense? So what are the social projects we have around? And uh, I think months ago, I was here where we discussed how the Sirica's brother, that's the former aviation minister's brother, being arrested for, aviation, for fraud in the aviation industry. And aside this, we also have uh, the, uh, over $3 billion for uh, renovation and maintenance of some aviation structures. This could be one of them. You know, how the Sirica's brother has been arrested and is under investigation. But we do not even know the, the state of the matter presently. So this is just one, one of them. Still, after getting all these monies, life still remains very difficult for Nigerians. Now, before money, before loans are gotten, let's follow the, let's make it a basic analysis. Before loans are gotten, what do they do? Governors will not just sit, think one day and say, okay, I want to get a loan. It will be approved by the House. That's by the legislative arm. Mm. What I'm saying here is that there is a, a kind of conspiracy because in a democratic system or the kind of federal system we run here, there should be what is called separation of powers. That is the constitutional division of powers, the constitutional division of functions among the various uh, organs of government. The organs of government, the legislative arm, the executive and the judiciary. When the uh, legislative, when, when the uh, executive wants to get a particular amount of money or loans, they would prepare a bill, a financial bill, as it is called, and send it to the to the house. Yeah. There is a, there is a committee on, on on finances to to look at it on finance to look at it, and when they say okay, I think this is tenable, they approve it. Now, it means there there is what I call deficiency in our system. That after getting an approval for a loan, the loan is gotten, the house that approved it does not even have. Okay, but does not even have the will to track it because there are systems there. We have committees to track to track those things, but the house would not even say, okay, what have they used this project for? Let us track this project. What is the position? Let us track these loans. It means every loan taking is a conspiracy between the other organs of government, between the various organs of, of government. That is it. There is a conspiracy, and uh, uh, if the governor receives a loan. Okay, the government say, okay, the system says, oh, the governor is immune, he has immunity, he has all, he has everything. But the commissioners do not have immunity. Co governors could be investigated. Then you pen their prosecution until after that, you know. However, their, com their commissioners and those who are involved could be sacked and prosecuted while we await the end of the governor's tenure. That is it. But someone needs to pay for it. However, let's take this analogy. You've been giving out loans to a particular company, to a particular state, to a particular nation. And when you look at the poverty uh, index rates, 
Niger the position of Nigeria is very pathetic. You look at the, some of these infrastructure, there are mechanisms in place, even by some of these uh, these loaners to track uh, projects, but they wouldn't. All they want is for them to come back again and give it a rephrase, rephrase that uh, that project, apply for another loan, and they get it. It means giving up loans in the first place is not humanity. It's not an act of, of magnanimity. It's not an act of selflessness or humanity to African states. It is a conspiracy to impoverish the African states. The reason fraud and everything, they will still go back tomorrow. Imagine in three months, our, our, our debt increased by over 20, 23, 24 billion. Mm. And we still go there tomorrow, they're still ready. They are still ready to give out loans. Yeah. When, when we wouldn't even show what we did with the previous. Mm. It's between the various organs of government. Yeah, I, 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 because I always wonder, I mean, if we cannot, if we're not utilizing these loans that we're getting, why is the World mm. Bank still um, hell-bent on giving us more loans, just making sure that we're still there under their wing, whereby they can tell us what to do? Um, but nice. you, wanna, you wanted to say something? No, 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 yeah. no please. But then, um, so if Seraph right now is raising these concerns, I mean, Seraph is one... Um, one organization, but I'm sure there are so many people out there that are raising these concerns that why are we yeah. getting so much loans when, whereby we're not utilizing it or we're not even seeing what they're used for. At this point, the, the, the government has said, okay, we're using it for poverty reduction, we're using it for social protection, which we cannot even see. Do you think this is just a case of you know, the government taking this and corruption, which is known to have eaten so deeply, is wearing its ugly head here. Yeah, yeah, you asked the question and you provided an answer to it already. That is that is just it. The thing is this, you know, this these nations, they just they want to gag African nations or underdeveloped nations, they just want to give instructions and want us to follow. That is it. Giving out loans from these banks, from these organizations. In itself, is 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 arbitrary. That is it. It's arbitrary. So when these organizations are ready to give out loans to us, it is not because they love us. It is not because they care about us. It is because they have some uh, so, some motives. It is because they they want to give orders to us. I want us to obey. It is because they have some interest in our natural resources. We have maybe later on they say, okay, pay this and let us pay this. Let us so that it will. It will, it will make uh, businesses, it will make uh, doing businesses with us much more easier and even effective. Because when you go to get uh, loans from them, when they also want to venture into uh, maybe natural resources, exploration and all like that, you would want to consider them and say, okay, actually, we go to them for loans, so you can let us always be considerate with them. That is it. And there is one thing I've noticed in Nigeria, there is a desperation by every government even local government to always get loans. There is a desperation by government, public office holders, state, any, any office that has the, 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 the powers or the right to get loans, they just want to get it. The reason, even by next year, before the end of this year, the, the government will still get some loans. And early next year, they will still get more to, to fund our budget. It means each government there is a desperation to always get loans. It, this is because there wouldn't be a way to account for it. The office of the accountant general, they should, they should account for this. They should account for this. The house committee that failed to perform its responsibilities should account for this. You approve something and you didn't even do a follow-up. They should account for this. Yet still, the economy of Nigeria is getting harder on Nigerians. And you are saying you have provided social... Social work. I also saw that, that one of it, one of it is, is COVID nineteen uh, something and palliatives, uh, the aviation and all like that. How many Nigerians? There are still videos out there. The the, the not 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 generative videos, not AI uh, videos. There are still videos out there. We saw what Nigerians got, and now even with this uh, with the uh, economic crisis presently, they are still giving out palliatives uh, to some states. 
after a few months later, we will hear that, oh, they've used, they've invested billions to give palliatives to Nigerians. And I begin to ask, where are these Nigerians? Okay, if I, probably me, I'm, I'm not even a Nigerian that I don't even know. But the, the Nigerians I see around, where are these Nigerians? How many people got this? They will tell you, okay, we, we fed uh, so, so millions of, of students, of pupils and all like that. Where are these students? We have public primary schools around. We have uh, those who don't even have access to, to, to basic necessities. Where are these facilities that you got loans to, to build? Now, I also want you to do to our listeners to note one thing. Look at look around when you see maybe UN uh, sponsored projects, uh, UNDP, WHO. When you see some of these facilities around, many of them are dilapidated. I I I, I tell her I want to. This is an, like uh, a study for for our, for our listener and for those who, who who viewers who watch us. Look at projects around. Many of uh, these projects are sponsored by foreign bodies, foreign confederations, are uh, in dilapidated states. That is it. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, yeah. Who are the Nigerians that you know? What's all of this money, the palliatives and all of that? Sometimes I really ask myself, we claim that we do not have so much data. So where is the data that they used to um, give out all of this? The Humanitarian Affairs uh, Ministry is known for embezzling money. And especially when you know you come out and you say we're using it for poverty alleviation and all of that, it is such a good way to, to siphon money out. But I want to ask, right, the federal government, of course, is not even better because they are also getting loans. But how do we ensure accountability from both the federal and the state governments when, when it comes to the loans that they're taking in Nigeria? Because they're just put plunging into, that, into that, that rabbit hole of getting loans every single time. How do we ensure that we have accountability? How do we ensure that we have accountability? A very good question. If we would want accountability, then there must be separation of powers. Each organ must be independent. These institutions, they are institutions, they are bodies to see to all of these things. We have the EFCC that is not even working because it is not independent. The chairman and even getting uh, getting job placement in the EFCC, it could be maybe true man, no man, or godfather reason. That is that is it. So until each level until each uh, organ is independent of one another. That it, we, we wouldn't even care if we have an APC, something and, and all like that. But each one would perform its functions in accordance with the constitutional provisions. But the House approved it. The House approved it. That is it. The House approved it. They approved it and they didn't even track it. There is a body in, uh, this, this, uh, in the World Bank that should track the projects that should track the loans that are approved, are these bodies also working? No. Probably when they come to Nigeria, when they request for things, they just give them pictures. You know, pictures are very easy to, to generate. They just give them pictures and say, okay, these are some of the things. So they, just, they just speak English and that will be all. But until we have that separation of powers and until Nigerians begin to hold their leaders accountable, many of these loans we never even knew. Because I, I keep saying this, what we have access to, the information we have access to, the information are restricted, especially in the, in the TV, in the, in the radio, in the newspapers, they are restricted. Thanks for the social media. Because many of these, uh, the, the, those who even get the loans, the ruling class, the political class, they even control the media. So they, they, they would control covertly or directly or indirectly what the media puts out there. It is what they want us to know that we would know. That is what I keep telling people. So Nigerians should begin to hold their leaders to account for every penny spent. Thanks to, to, to Serap. If Serap never came up with this, maybe many wouldn't have known. Many wouldn't have known. Uh, the, the better he does, uh, the former minister for uh, humanitarian affairs and all. Where is, where is she today? What is the state of, of, of the prosecution? We remember the off the mic, the, NN, the NN, uh, NDDC, 
NDDC corruption. Many of the, of the top players there are still holding political offices. The twelve, the two point one billion dollar arms deal. What is the position of the prosecution? How many acts of corruption have we successfully prosecuted? How many have been punished? The reason I said that first, I said there is a for every loan, every loan taking is a conspiracy between the various organs of government. Mm. That is it. The executive who executes it. They say, okay, let's let's come up with, and they know the weaknesses of these foreign nations. That okay, when you tell them humanitarian, uh, social project, poverty alleviation, they be like, because these people believe that natural, they, they believe that uh, Africa is a, is, a, is a state of penury and poverty. That Africa is poor. Many of them do not even know anything good about Africa. All they know is poverty. That is the reason when they want to give you an epitome, when they want to give you an analysis of poverty, they use black people. Quite All they know is about yeah. poverty. The reason our leaders, when they want to get the laws, they, pre they present the African nation, they present the African states to them mm. right. as a nation mm. that has been beaten into poverty. Well, that is it. This is quite sad and unfortunate, like with what you've said, that you know they've always presented us as poor people, and of course, that's how they used to get all of these loans. I just hope that the World Bank will stop giving us loans when we're not utilizing them. And you know, I hope that we'll get some level of <laughs> accountability. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? The the World Bank, so they'll keep giving us loans, even from oh, well. Uh, I, we hope that we hope that that doesn't continue. We hope that there's some level of accountability, um, you know, and transparency with our government officials as well. And also, I want to add that it is important for us to start making revenue. We need to generate our own revenue, not just waiting for for loans every single time. At what point do we pay back the loan and make sure that we have our own money and we're a thriving nation? So it's important that we look at all of this. But we want to say thank you so much for coming, Samson. Thank you um, for coming here to share your valuable contributions. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we're speaking uh, with Samson Ajibade. He's a criminologist and security researcher. We'll go on a short break. When we return, we'll be looking at another hot topic that talks about the International Youth Day. Please stay with us. <laughs> 